childhood, um, Niall had been treating people based around dental anxiety yeah. and fortunately for me, um, I haven't experienced dental anxiety, but I was really keen to kind of understand how um, his technique and his hypnosis and associated techniques would help me with the fear of mine. Very minimal and kind of a silly experience, university days and um, a guy would come in and try and hypnotise the students and it would be more kind of drunken silly behaviour and losing inhibitions and getting them to do silly tasks. So, so far removed from how NAR practices and what the overall intention and objectives are. So I didn't really know what to expect and so I tried to expect nothing at all um, and came to see him and explained like something emotional that was holding me back um, and yeah I, I didn't have any expectation on the outcome or the process um, and just kind of tried to go with it. Um, so my experience wasn't really, the, the stereotype of hypnosis I suppose for me had been going under and it wasn't like that at all, I felt consciously aware the whole time and Niall has a way of describing it like guided meditation and that was perfect, I felt like I was being guided to a place that had a different perspective on this thing that was holding me back. healthcare recruitment company called 3D Recruit. So I can place dentists and other healthcare professionals um, and nurses and doctors all around the Perth area but all over Australia as well. Yeah, yeah, because you get to the point that I suppose you're after so much more efficiently without the clutter and jumble that your own brain kind of brings into it and when do you really uh, unless I suppose you're used to meditation and you're well practiced in doing it like that's really hard to do so having the guidance just gets you there much quicker um, so even people that do feel time pressured should try it because yeah. you get there quickly <laughs> session yeah. so um, I think he said afterwards that it was 15 minutes 15 20 minutes but it could have been an hour like I was just yeah taken away from real time so it kind of felt timeless which is good yeah like immediately I felt as soon as I came out um, after seeing Niall I went to grab a coffee and I was doing some work calls and stuff um, but before I made the calls, I noticed that I was feeling really uplifted. I had um, like a new energy for the feeling that I'd had before. So the fear I had before now had like a refreshed energy attached to it. A completely different perspective that was clearer and I was more excited about rather than fearful of. Sure. Um, and yeah, it lasted a good few days, that feeling, that uplifted feeling. And I hope to say, like even though it was it was a reasonably short session, that it's had some lasting impact. I'd, I'd say you probably still need to keep it up and you know to make deeper impact for a longer term. But um, it was some words and phrases that resonated and gave me kind of deeper meaning on it that, yeah, they've stuck with me. Really comfortable, really relaxed, really safe were probably the ways I'd describe it. I would definitely recommend Nile and Prime Hypnosis, definitely. I already have done, yeah. um, so it, it's always a lot more down to the openness of someone to, to try it. I would thoroughly recommend it, why not try something different? quite enjoy coming to see Niall at the dentist so that's that's all good um, I find him really thorough and really puts your, your mind at rest as well and you know that he's doing a good job you're very at ease